Going live again. <laughs> Trying to get a hold of this. Um, I'm going to show some items I've bought at the first store over the last few months. I uh, have a number of items. I have some jewelry. And I also have other collectibles. I'm just going to show them randomly. Um, I have a page on Mercari. The link's on my, um, it's on my uh, channel. Also, I place it in all of the videos, which I'll do after the fact here. And I also started a page on Facebook. It's called um, Vintage Jewelry Galore. And you can find me by username, and, uh, Vintage Thrifter Anna. The V is capitalized in the A. You know, the first letter of each word, but the T is not. Um, okay. This is, um, this is really cool. It's a Japanese face. It has a material actually, um, I don't know how they do this. It looks like a plastic crochet. I don't know exactly what they call the, uh, the method of how they do it, but there's a vase inside of it. It's pretty cool. It has a little bird on it. It's pretty nice. I don't have this one up for sale. But this is something that I will put up for sale eventually. A number of things. Boxes from um from Italy. It's a handmade box. This is on my Mercury site. It's uh, it's pretty. It's um it's handmade. It doesn't have a year on it, but the, it has a number, 980, and then a stamp, Italy, as well. That's something. If, and I have a splatter glass one as well. I'll probably do um, an auction on the Facebook, maybe, if that's possible. They, they offer that option. I'm getting a lot more likers and followers on there. It's harder on YouTube. <laughs> but um, this is from 1965. And it's pretty, it's spat, splatter glass, um, something that I've yet to put up for sale. Um, I have some, this is a little tiny left-in bird. Um, there's two doves on it. This is on my Mercury page. It's been sitting there for since I, almost since I've started. It has a little girl praying as well that goes with it, a set that I have on there. But I've got it cheap. It's a buck. Get it for a buck. You can sell something like this for like $15. It's not a lot of money, but it adds up. These here are the Napco. Napco wear. Um, they're newer. Not very valuable. Little boys. There's a, they actually come in like a set of four. I have two of them. Get these at the Salvation Army. <laughs> They're up for sale on my Mercury page, too. They're not worth very much. This is really nice. And they haven't put it up for sale yet because it's made in Portugal. It's hand-painted. It has a number. 855 is the item number. It's a... Uh, it's pretty. It's hand-painted. doesn't have any imperfections on it. This is a ceramic type of a, a, a ceramic item. It, you know, that or you know, they hand molded it. It doesn't have any lines on it. You can see that it's not, it's not, it's handmade. It's not molded in any type of uh, molding. You can actually feel, you can feel the painting on it as well. That I haven't put up for sale yet. Just doing this to get practice. <laughs> this is FTD, FTDA 1988. I've seen their vases, so I don't have this up for sale yet. I collect vases. I have a number of them, uh, different tulip vases, and some Murano, or I think they're Murano. <laughs> they're not all marked, um, so it's hard to tell. And ever, I watch the people do this, and it's, it looks a lot easier than what it is. It's actually not easy. It's in here, especially when I'm talking to myself for the most part. Uh, so I give the people that do it credit with these, like the Texas go. She's been doing it for at least like five, six years. These are hand painted. Don't have any marking on them. Um, I did have them up for sale on my Mercury page, but I took them down because um, 
I couldn't get what I wanted for them, and I believed that they were worth more. So I took them down, and I just displayed them. I, I have salt pepper shaker collection as well, but these ones have a metal gold screw top and painted flowers on them. I would sell them. Hopefully, I get to do an auction in a few weeks on the uh, Facebook. I'm going up to my sister. She's going to do one on Wednesday. I'm just going to go sit and help her do her auction. Her uh, page on Facebook is Bella. I don't even know what it is. Maybe I'll share it if I actually get any followers there. Um, this these are these are uh, porcelain salt salt and pepper shaker with a little toothpick holder for a swan. I mean a swan tooth that holds toothpicks. And this is handmade. And it has some markings on it. I can't read it all. It's really cute. I didn't put this up for sale yet either. A lot of like unique items like this little doll that she's filled with salt dust and has a porcelain head. And um she's from Scotland. It's pretty cool. That's thing. This funny looking big footed unicorn donkey looking thing. It says $32 on the bottom of it. Peggy Gray Candles is where it comes from. I got it for a buck. There's a tiny chip on him. He's cute, though. He's kind of heavy, so shipping him. I just kept him. He's on my plant stand. He just sits there. Um, He's cute, though. I've never seen anything like it. It has, like, the biggest feet. It has where the chip is at. It has the artist who made its name on it. I don't. I have a bunch of things like a lot of made in Italy items. This is pretty. This is hand painted. Doesn't have a uh, pump on it. It's not blown glass. It almost looks like it is. There's there's no line, so so I don't believe it's a mold. I know it's hand painted, and it doesn't have any markings on it. It's Beautiful. I didn't put that up for sale yet either. There's like one person on here. Is that me? I don't know. Probably somebody in my family. <laughs> Probably somebody I know. This is a bunch of jewelry that I have that I'm selling. Um, if anybody sees this, you go on my Mercury page or you can contact me through here or go on Facebook too. Um, I'll put that on my account, what my username is on there. This is a shoulder brooch. It's not a real um, high quality one. He's pretty nice. He's mid quality. He's from a thrift store. Um, he has green rhinestone eyes. and It looks like he has rhinestones over his body, but that is actually metal that's made to imitate rhinestone. It's funny. It's the snake. Snake cufflink um, bangle bracelet. It's not Egyptian revival. This is modern. It's I wouldn't really sell this for anything more than like ten or twelve dollars unless somebody really wanted it. They wouldn't pay more than that. I don't think the rhinestones are set. Um, there's no prongs around them. They're glued. It's I don't. That's how why I don't believe it's like Egyptian revival. It's not from. This is probably nineties. Still can could be considered vintage from 80 or 90s, but you know the Egyptian revival items are from the uh, around the night sometime in the 1950s, and the things were made better back then. These are pretty cool. These are the dra paper dragon. These are little origami brooches that are covered with a plastic glaze over them. They're pretty neat. Um, three of them. I got them for a dollar a piece. I had them on a Mercari site. They're not something that's selling easily. Um, for, they're not really, I mean, they're cool. At a buck a piece. Just keep them. I don't really wear, wear brooches myself a whole lot. <laughs> and my daughter who does wouldn't really wear these. But they're pretty neat, especially the beetle. This is one of those stickies of dung beetle. Whatever they call those. It doesn't call those. There's two butterflies. Right. 
Yeah, and all this stuff in the box that I do have on my account. I think this is nice. It's a Murano. Um, actually, it's not Murano. This one is... Had to a mano or something like that, but it's a, it has um, a glittery substance inside of it. It's pretty cool, and it's a glass bottle. But I've had this for six months trying to sell it, no luck. I think I may have got one leg on it, and I think that was my sister. I may give it to her; she will wear it. I mean, I, I get the stuff rather cheap, and you, you can make okay money off of it. Sometimes you get something big and really make money off of it. That doesn't happen when you want these beautiful little bangles. It looks like something for a child. I mean, they're so small, or a very small woman, like a Korean woman or something. Somebody very small and dainty. Um, definitely not American unless they're 12 They're anorexic, but they have like pearly little. I don't know what those stones are. They're glass. Um, and the rhinestones, are, it's really beautiful. I've had them on my page for a little while. I have people that like them, but they wait until you drop down. And at that rate, I'll just let my daughter wear them and play with them. If I don't sell them. A lot of Avon stuff, which sells pretty well for the most part. Big acorn brooch um, leaf with acorns hanging. It's probably from the 80s. Avon does have a following. Um, people buy their items, and some of it can make it. Some of it's like pretty So, like how um, for different different people would need jewelry for Avon at different times, like jewelry designers, like um, Kenneth J. Lane. He did. And wasting time here, trying to get practice and exposure. But it's a very difficult task to do that as I'm learning. It's not easy. Um, this is Coro brooch. These are all Coro, actually. Part of my. I don't really like Coro all that much. There are people who collect earrings, and I have a little pearl bracelet. They're not real. Pearls. I think they, they're even plastic. It's kind of a nice bracelet, though. But they're all coral. coral. I have them on my page. I um, have a lot of likes on them, but no, no buyers as of yet. Oh, this is nice. This is sterling. Um, 925. It has a white. Gate stone on I think it's what they call that. It's it actually it almost looks like one of those stones that you pull out of a fish tank. I like the way it's it's so smooth. It looks it's definitely not natural. Literally, it looks like it's glazed with something. It's almost too shiny to be a uh, like a valuable stone to me. But it is in silver. I think this is um Mother of Pearl stone. They're made in Germany items. Um, they're, they're like shell. Mother of Pearl shell. Right, these ones are clip with a brass backing. And West Germany, actually. I like the West Germany jewelry. It's same, I do the Japan too. It's not considered very valuable. I mean, some of it is, but there's a lot of it. But the, the Japan was, a lot of that was uh, being made during the time of occupied Japan, um, during and after the war. Probably right after the war is when a lot of it was sold, at the Second World War. I'm assuming people know that, but maybe they don't. These are nice, and these, I've had these for so forever. They're Roman, they're, they're clip, if they weren't clip, I'd wear them. A rhinestone, and um, they're priced they are on a thing for 25 I got them down rather low on the Mercari page, but surprisingly, I haven't sold them. 
because people want me to go lower and I'm not. I might just throw them into a bundle. I do that after a while. I'll, I'll make like a batch of like jewelry I need to get rid of um, that I want to get rid of that I've had forever. I mean, because I didn't pay much for them. They come in a bag <laughs> with other ones. Mainly I shop at the red, white, and blue. To me, they're, they're the best for jewelry because that's mainly what I sell. They're the best store for that. This is an Avon, um, and this one's nice. This I don't know exactly how to date it, but it's a brooch with, like, pink ice stones in it and a pair of clip earrings that go with it. And they're fully intact. They're not missing any stones in the clasp borks on the um, thing. I have these up for sale for, I think, 25 I have likes on them, but nobody's bought them yet. These are one of the better Avon. Um, like some of the better jewelry that they do have. This is actually a nice set. Sell a lot of rhinestones. I actually got a bunch from my sister not long ago. She had a large collection and she, this is really, really pretty. I probably should pull it out of there. But it's very nice. It's, um, they like drop um, down. It's like graduated off of the necklace. It has the uh, round um, square and also baguette stones on it. And the earrings match dangling earrings go with it. It's pretty nice. I've been selling that for a couple of months attempting to. It's normally, I, I have a couple of people that come on my page. Um, they bulk buy things like this and they haven't been around for a while. I think one of them got sick. Not too sick. All right. Well, yeah, I've had enough. That's it. I just wanted to get another video. I'm going to attempt a live shooting um, at a thrift store and post it. Um, I've got to get more followers. I'm trying to get them from my Facebook page as well. I went on there and I've asked. I I have followers on there. I'll probably attempt to sell on there before here and direct people to Mercari and to, to uh, YouTube as well from there. But hopefully somebody sees this. And I know I'm not the most enthusiastic person. <laughs> trying though, it's, it's, um, it's harder than it looks. I can tell you that, even with all the advice. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, I'm done also. Get off. Hopefully you can't hear me. Oh. <laughs>